Good evening, Glasgow. Are you well? Welcome to the big gig. You know it's a big gig because my name's hanging off a bed sheet. I feel like it's my birthday. This is a show, ladies and gentlemen, at the age of 43, I have decided to examine my womanhood. And I have discovered that I am to womanhood what Northern Ireland is to the United Kingdom. <laughs> I'm part of it with a few exceptions. <laughs> and ultimately, I look like I belong to somewhere else. <laughs> I have very much got a Glasgow face. <laughs> I have got a face that works in three cities in this planet. Glasgow, Belfast, Benidorm. <laughs> I sat. <laughs> I have never been so grateful that I've never had to use dating apps. Because if I had to use dating apps, you would be looking at the face of a 43-year-old virgin. <laughs> My profile on a dating app would just have been me going about the house fixing things. <laughs> This is what I can bring to the table, <laughs> once I build it. <laughs> and everything on the building site, the ultimate insult was gay, right? Everything, gay. It's like, wearing a high-vis vest, gay. <laughs> Unless it was at a rave, right? <laughs> Stirring your tea with a teaspoon, gay. <laughs> wearing steel toe camp boots, flamboyant, right? <laughs> And, and, and they would judge, they would, like, they would judge another man's sexuality based on his lunch choices. <laughs> One day we're on the cabin and a guy brought in a tuna baguette. What? Is that you a hairdresser now? <laughs> Geez, Ivan Keys. Get yourself up the chip shop. Get chips for your lunch like a real man. <laughs> that was me that said that. Uh... 